of 52 Traders Podcast, where I've interviewed some of the world's most successful traders. And today I want to teach you three secrets to acquiring profitable MetaTrader for expert advisors. So today you're going to learn my exact strategy to acquiring profitable MT4 expert advisors without buying commercial EAs, without finding free EAs, without having a strategy of your own, without learning to code MQL, and without paying for a developer. Sounds impossible, I know, but there is a way, and I will tell you exactly how to do it. So stay tuned. So if you stay to the end, don't forget, at the end of this webinar, I'm going to give away a secret link, and you'll get my highly configurable expert advisor, and some of you will grab my bonus gift for a select few people. So you have to be watching in order to get this link, so stick around, I promise it'll be worth your time. Now, before I go on, uh, I know there are distractions all around us, but this strategy I'm about to share can change your life, and I don't want you to miss a single crucial step. So please make a commitment to stay focused. Can you do that for yourself? Close out of Facebook, ch stop checking email, turn off your cell phone, give your complete attention. Right, so, who am I? You're probably wondering why I'm qualified to teach on this topic. So here's my story. I've had over seven years experience trading expert advisors. Some of you will know me from my days gone by where I used to run a site called forexreviewsrated.com and I have tested, traded, trialed uh, more than 100 EAs, if not most of them commercial, some uh, free EAs, but I've done a I mean, I wouldn't even know how many I had done over the course of, of the years. Uh, I've run four VPS accounts uh, at the same time to keep EAs in operation. And those of you who know what a VPS account is, uh, you'll know that four is, is fairly excessive. And I've spent the last year building expert advisors myself. Now, before we go on, I want you to imagine what your life would be like when you have a profitable EA, so multiple EAs, making you money around the clock, leaving you free to get on with your life. I mean, can you see yourself retiring early, you know, sitting in a nice pool like that, looking at a, a lovely view? Could you see yourself quitting your job? Does it mean you can, can say to your boss, you know, I'm ready to go, or I can now support myself? Or does it mean you're going to have more family time, so it's going to save you from the trading that you're doing at the moment and sitting on uh, in front of a computer watching the charts? And does it mean you could go on that exotic holiday you've been looking for at a place like, like this? Or a new car, you need a new car? Uh, or could you see yourself in a holiday house, so having a house you can go to, which gets a bit more sun and you can spend a bit more time in? Uh, what would make things better for you? Now today I want to talk, tell you a little story about these three guys here. So this is actually from a, a TV show that I watched uh, a few years ago. British TV show, BBC. Some of you may may have watched it. Uh, for me, it's, it's stuck a it struck a chord. And the three guys you see in front of you, there are two guys at the front who are both Mongolian farmers. And the back is a miner from Britain. And the show was all about this miner from Britain coming out to Mongolia to spend some time with some miners uh, from Mongolia. And I said miners because they were farmers and they had to turn their hand to mining because their farms got washed away with the with the bad weather over there in Mongolia and the changing climates. And so I want to t tell you the story because I think this you guys could relate to this story in terms of how it how it matches up with your trading experience and what you find when you are trading um, when you're going about your trading education and trying to become a profitable trader in the markets. So I think, you know, most of us are in the same spot as these Mongolian gold miners. So they've had to go and turn their hand to gold mining in Mongolia to make a living. And this guy, this miner from Britain is out there watching them um, and learning from them and giving them some tips and advice as to how to better prepare their minds for, for gold mining. So how, how do you guys relate to this? So let's have a look. Um, in front of you, you can see now essentially the minefield, which is just a, a bit of farmland, which or even deserted land, where somebody has struck gold at some point in the past. And now all these Mongolian miners are out there in this vast landscape trying to dig holes with no tool, with hardly any tools and hope to strike gold. And that essentially for you guys, your vast minefield, and the way I see it is it's really 
looking at those trading forums and Google, I mean, these are vast minefields of information that you need to decipher and go through to try and understand, well, trying to find that nugget of gold at the end that will give you trading success. So this is one similarity with these guys. The second one are, is cheap tools. So to, to go and navigate these vast minefields, these guys are, are using cheap tools. You can see there in the picture, he's got a spade and behind him is behind his shoulder, he's got a, a plastic bucket. And so you guys are also using your cheap tools. So you'll be using a tool which is the cheapest tool you've probably got, uh, depending on what you do in your in your day job or in your in your lifetime. Um, is your time? So your time is one of the cheapest tools that you have to do that digging, do that searching. So time is a very important asset for us. The next thing is the tough dig. So once you have these trading forums in front of you, once you have Google in front of you, you've got to dig deep and you've got to dig hard. And for you guys, really, that is the search. So you're searching through these forums. You're searching through the through Google for keywords, words that you've uh, picked up along the way, and you're trying to find that bit of gold at the end of your search. And when you find a little glimmer of hope, you find that uh, that little piece of gold in there. So you're panning for that gold, essentially, is what the guys in Mongolia are doing. And that, for you guys, could be in the form of an indicator. It could be an EA. It could be a free EA. It could be a paid EA. It could be a strategy. It could be signals. It could be anything. So you have that little insight, that little nugget um, to keep you going. And you go, right, now I've got something that looks like it's worthwhile investing some more time in. So what am I going to do next? I'm going to dig a little deeper. So these guys start digging deeper over there in Mongolia. Now that they've found a little nugget of gold in this vast minefield, they start digging deeper. And for you guys, this really means back testing, demo trading, and live trading, whatever it is you found, that indicator, that EA, that strategy, those signals. And all this takes a lot of time and effort and commitment. So you need to be dedicated to what you're doing to make this uh, to find out whether or not this golden nugget that you found is successful. And where do we end up most of the time, or the majority of the time, at the end of the day? You end up a bit like this guy, looking a bit dejected. He has no reward. He didn't find any gold because he's really going in there with a hole, uh, with his fingers crossed and hoping for the best that the hole that he dug was the right hole for that day which for us is really all about wasted time. So you're wasting that time trying to find those indicators, those EAs, those strategies, those systems, signals, whatever it is, you're trying to find those signals in that vast minefield. So you need to start again. So when you've realized that, nope, it didn't work, and I've been there many times, guys, don't get me wrong, we've got to start again and start that search. So what if it was a bit different? What if... What if there was a way to find and validate profitable strategies that meant you didn't have to waste days, even weeks, searching, testing, and trading? So this, this is a way to find and validate profitable strategies so that you meant you didn't have to waste these days. You, so you didn't have to waste time doing all the stuff I've just mentioned in that Mongolian story. Well, listen up because there is. So this is a time-saving strategy. How I broke the model. So I have three secrets I'm going to share with you today. The first secret is let the strategies come to you. And we're going to talk about that more in a second. The second secret is take matters into your own hands. The third one is pick the right software. So software has something to do with this. I'm just going to have a sip of my tea to keep my voice going. It's five o'clock in the morning here, so it's very early for me as well. Right, secret number one, let the strategies come to you. My discovery. So building my first EA with a developer. So back in the day, I built uh, an EA with a developer, and this is my first EA. And the lessons I had was the guy had no vested interest. So he, he all he wanted to do was see the money come in, get me off, off the books, and get paid, get some feedback. Um, and then move on. So it was a painful feedback loop as well because he had no vested interest. What he was delivering up to me wasn't uh, the quality that I was expecting. And this also added to the length of time it took. So in this instance, it went from three, it was supposed to be a two week turnaround to a three month turnaround. And then by the time I got the final expert advisor, which I thought was 
going to be doing well, meeting the strategy that I had uh, put forward, which it, it sort of did. Um, it just wasn't configurable enough. So I, I couldn't configure it to make it profitable. And he had no vested interest in that profitability of the strategy. Uh, and your, the, the one of the main learnings was your budget determines your priority. So if you haven't got a big budget, and I'm talking a big, big budget. I mean, this guy was working on, he was a good developer, and he was working on multiple, um, working for a client on mo multiple strategies. And he was spending most of his time doing that, and I was essentially just with my three hundred dollar budget, just that um, three to five hundred, I think it was. That I was that guy who was hanging on there, um, that he just wanted to get the extra cash in the door, uh, sort of like doing that um, cash in hand job if you're a builder. Right, so uh, my discovery didn't end there. So <laughs> I went on to use nine other developers. So it just wasn't him. It was it was a cons persistent problem with these EA developers. Uh, other things that I found was that price always increased. So after the first job, so do one job, do it cheap, um, and it probably wasn't, normally it wasn't a, um, a full EA, they'd do it cheap, and all of a sudden the price would increase for the second job, and it'd be a significant increase that I couldn't afford. And then they'd be slow to build EA still, so I don't think there was anything that came back to me within at least two months. And then couldn't uh, they couldn't understand simple requirements, and then constant bugs so you're always testing these bugs that they've left in the system and trying to work out what they've done wrong with their coding which is very difficult to do and it ends up you end up spending almost more time than them building the expert advisor right this is a screenshot from my account just to show you that I have used these guys. These are completed contracts uh, for MQL4 developers. I've done a quick search there on MQL, and you can see there, and I'm sure some will pop up for EA as well, that I've got nine guys there that I have used in the past. It was back in 2012 and 2011. You see the dates there. Uh, some of them do have five-star feedbacks, which is, uh, is ironic given the, the issues that I've had, but I think people in these platforms get pressured into giving those sort of reviews and it wasn't just me so this wasn't just me there was another guy out there I can give you a really good example of if you ever look at the dates here and the emails that came through to me um, in my uh, on my other site camforex.com uh, you can see there that on was it Saturday the 9th of May 2015 this year I was having a conversation with a, a trader that I'd met uh, a while ago who I was helping build EAs for in the in uh, the course of uh, the beginning of the year so if we look at the boxes in red there here he, here's what he says to me uh, am now having the X system written for me by some Indonesian guy who only wants a few quid for it I realize it is a bit much to ask you to keep writing these EAs for me when you are so busy with your new venture. And he was talking about the 52 Traders podcast. And then we've got a month later on the uh, 4th of June. Yes, that's not a bad idea, having two MAs, so moving averages. We'll do some tests on that. My programmer assures me that he is still working on it, but I reckon he is living it up in Barbados running my EA. <laughs> he may well be. Uh, and then on the 7th of July, 2015, so a month not later, so this guy's now been waiting two months, the guy has said to me he wants to wait for some Malaysian holiday period to end and does not want payment, but will do it as a favor. All well, seems a bit odd. Uh, sounds great, but I would rather pay and have it done now. Don't know what to do. Can still day trade longer time frames, but was hoping to be well underway by now. Is a long time between non-farm payrolls, NFPs. So... He's waiting two months now, and it goes on. So the third month, so down the bottom there, you've got 8th of August 2015, so only a few months ago. Uh, he's replied to an email. No, he wait. He wanted to wait a month, so I contacted him on the 1st, 1st of August, I'm guessing, and he says he, was, uh, he will start again, but no word yet, so he's waited a week. Uh, so I will now find somebody else, and having a day, day trading system on a uh, I'm now day trading the X system. So this guy's ended up waiting three months for an EA to be to, to be built and nothing, he has received nothing. And I ended up saying to him, look, I'm going to build that EA for you. Um, I, I've got some window now with my, my podcast and it took me, I think it took me three hours to build the entire EA for him when I actually sat down and, and put my mind to it. So I had a big aha moment on the back of this. 
a massive aha moment. And I'm going to share that with you. And this is essentially one of the well, the answer to that secret of um, uh, to the secret that I've just given you at the at the top here, which is let the strategies come to you. So this is a massive aha moment. The first thing is there's two things to it. One is developers get the best systems for free. So if you're a developer, if you can develop expert advisors, you're going to get the best systems for free. So how are you going to get that? Because people are going to give you the systems to build. So it all seems fairly obvious, but they're also going to get, or well, some of them or most of them, are going to get paid to build them. So somebody's going to give you money as an expert advisor developer to build a system that they've spent however many years or months or days or whatever it is trying to come up with they're going to get they're going to get a developer to build that system for them and they're going to pay that developer nine times out of ten some money to do that and give them the system for free so therefore my big aha moment is what if i could develop eas myself and offer to build eas for other traders i'd have validated strategies sent to me for free or they'd even pay me saving me time searching for profitable strategies. So all that Mongolian time um, example that I gave you where you're wasting all that valuable time searching for strategies, they're going to come to you. Uh, plus, automating these strategies would save weeks of testing and years of chart watching. So by doing the work and building it into an expert advisor, all of a sudden my testing time is going to drop significantly and I'm not going to when I trade the actual expert advisor, I'm not going to be sitting there in front of the charts, placing trades and monitoring charts and waiting for opportunities. I'm going to be having a some of the software do that for me or give me alerts to do that for me. So there are all these benefits that come with this strategy. And the actual strategy can work like this. I'm going to show you an example of how you can actually put it into, into practice. So there are two ways. You can either do it for free or you can get paid for it. And doing it for free, the best way to do that is to jump on the trading forums. Hang on a second, I'm just going to have another sip of my tea. So we've got MQL5, Forex Factory, Baby Pips, Trade to Win, Daily FX, MyFX Books, and there are many more that you can jump on there, create a profile, start having a chat to traders, and then eventually offer to build expert advisors for free for other traders out there and that's probably the best way to get the strategies coming to you um, and also to learn how to build expert advisors so taking that time so you've got no pressure with the whole money side of it you can just take your time and learn how to build uh, build some of the more tricky requests uh, and at your leisure as opposed to having the pressure of, of money being on the table so it's a good way to start off and the second one and I'm going to show you a video about how you go through both of these and how easy it is to do in just a minute. Second one is to get paid for it. So you can jump on freelancing websites such as mql5.com, upwork.com, fiverr.com, and freelancer.com. These all allow you to post a profile for free uh, and uh, bid on jobs that come through. So guys offering up uh, MQL uh, requests or expert advisor requests so and you can post job post um, bids for those jobs and or they can come direct to you if if they like the look of your profile or if you've got enough feedback and reviews and that sort of thing so in the, in the final way is to do it as a bit of a business so start up a website and uh, and then advertise that website for your services of building expert advisors now I'm going to tell you uh, I know a lot of you are probably thinking at the moment how do I build expert advisors now don't worry this will all be revealed later on in the in the webinar so first of all I want to show you quickly how easy it is to go into these sites and how, how many opportunities there are so it's not just like oh well, somebody else is going to do it and then I'm not going to be able to do this as well you'll be able to do this as well as every other man on the street so I'm going to hit play on this video and I'm going to actually before I get into it I'm going to walk you I'm going to read you uh, sorry I'm going to voice over the video because the video sound doesn't come through on the webinar so I've actually recorded the audio and I'm just going to voice over it so please bear with me bear with me if I sound a little bit odd um, whilst I am uh, reading uh, trying to replicate the words that I'm actually saying on the audio okay here we go so I'm going to walk you through three places that you can find paid work as an expert advisor developer. So one of the first places is Upwork.com. 
previously known as ODS.com. And what you do is click on the search icon at the top and click on jobs. And you're going to type in MT4 and hit enter. And we're going to find a whole bunch of jobs that people have requested MT4 programming for. So EAs and all sorts of other things. So we're looking primarily for EAs here. So here's one, EA for MetaTrader MQL4. Somebody requesting a job there. EA for MT4 strategy. So these are guys who are posting strategies here that can be picked up. Um, optimization is requested there as well. And there's five pages in the search results. And if you have a look at the, how recent these are, this was three days ago with a budget of $50. This was a day ago with a budget of $30. And this was 19 hours ago, and there was no fixed budget on that one. So you can see how sort of frequently these jobs pop up here on these sort of sites. And this is only one of those sites. So just create a profile and you can bid on these jobs and also pick up the strategies that these trade traders are looking to code into expert advisors. Another site you can jump on is fiverr.com and that's F I V E R.com. And if you type into the search box here, MT4 space EA, you can see what's on offer. So these guys are offering the services. And if we scroll down a little bit, just to give you a bit of a taster for what's possible. So there's a guy here, I will write a custom expert advisor EA or trading algo for you. So for $5. If we uh, we can see here he's had 42 buyer reviews, which means he's had at least 42 buyers of the service, which means he's possibly created 42 EAs and had 42 different strategies that he could even use himself if he did want to do that. And people are paying him anywhere between, let's have a look here, uh, there's options, so you've got $5, basic gig, gig is $5, uh, do an intermediate EA, which is 15 dollars and do a complex EA which is $40 uh, and so you adding add in these figures here um, and what the bottom there we've got at the bottom resale rights is $50 so as a total this guy could be making up upwards of $200 for an EA and he's obviously done 42 of them so he's obviously doing all right for himself and the last place I'm going to take you to is mql5.com. This is the largest market of trading robots and technical indicators. And they have a freelance section up there in the top navigation. And if you can go on here and find requests uh, as per Upwork for EAs to be developed along with a whole raft of other things. So if we scroll down and go into the second page to try and find something that's quite relevant. So at the bottom there, need an EA with breakout strategy. And this guy's had eight applications. So they people that have bid on the job, very much like Upwork, uh, very much, and this is very much tailored towards the trading community versus Upwork where it's uh, tailored towards everything. So this is probably for the more, guy, this is probably more for the guys that are quite capable of building expert advisors themselves. And this just gives you a bit of a taster for what's available out there and how much you could earn building these EAs. So you can see some budgets here, 100 to 200, 10 to 70, 40 to 60, uh, $150 budget. So not mega bucks here, but it's a nice little, as David Brent said, Bunsen burner, nice little earner um, for you as, your, as an EA developer. So that's it in terms of paid expert advisor work. So let's move back to the webinar. Okay, secret number two is take matters into your own hands. So what do I mean about that? Let's have a look here. Is this going to help? Is this going to move to the next page? Sorry. Come on. It always gets a little bit funny after these. Uh, here we go. After the video plays. All right, so uh, this is my EA building discovery. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, wanting, knowing, to, knowing how to build EAs is something that we need to do to obviously implement this strategy. So we already know that we can't rely on developers. We've heard the stories of, heard my stories. We've seen the story of uh, the other trader friend of mine, and we sort of know that you know you're not going to get the best result if you use a developer. Uh, learning MQL is also not the best choice 
for the time poor or non-technical. So if you uh, don't have a lot of time and you're not technical, especially if you're not technical, learning MQL is just a no-go. If you're a coder, if you code for a living, it's probably something you would enjoy doing and something you probably should do. If you're not a coder, if you don't have experience in coding, uh, if you're not that way inclined, I would not recommend it. And for the time poor also, so it will take you a lot of time to learn how to do it and also a lot of time to work with it as well. So here are my lessons. I used to do a little bit of coding back in the day. I wasn't a coder. Um, I just know how to do some coding. Uh, and here's what I can tell you for, with regard to MQL and any other coding for that matter. Here's what you're going to come up against. And most of these things you see here in this list are all around time. So if you miss a comma, or, or a full stop, or an I, or a whatever, a letter or a number, you're gonna to have to spend time debugging that code, and that's a lot of time. You're gonna spend time scrolling, so you, that's searching through the code, trying to find whatever piece of code you're looking for. Um, you're gonna to have to spend thinking time to decipher the code and work out what has gone wrong. So that might mean jumping on the internet and finding answers to your coding problems as well. So that's thinking time. And then if you wanna tweak something you developed in the past, so for example, you built an EA two or three weeks ago and you wanna go back and start working on it again, you need to spend time reacquainting yourself with that code, which will take quite some time. Um, so there's a whole bunch of, there's a massive time impact on MQL as opposed to some other alternatives. So where to next? So if those aren't the two, if that's not our, uh, if those aren't our EA building solutions, what is our solution? Well. My strategy is to use a time-crushing EA builder. So for those that don't know what EA builders are, EA builders are essentially software that does all the coding for you and lets you concentrate on the strategy and not the code. And so that's the key point. It lets you concentrate on the strategy and not the code. And I'll demonstrate how one of these works in a few minutes. Um, so some of the benefits with EA builders are you don't have any code to deal with, you don't have any code to learn, and you don't have any code to fix, so you do not need to deal with code, which is a very important part of an EA builder. Um, it visualizes everything, so everything's done in a much, much more visual manner, and you'll see in it in a few minutes when I show you. Uh, you're able to debug strategies hundreds of times faster, so instead of going through lines of code or, or waiting for a developer to come back to you, you can debug strategies hundreds of times faster. Um, it's easy to read the algorithms. As I said, it's very visual, so you can read um, the algorithms, understand how they work much quicker than any other way. You can rapidly create, you can rapidly deploy and test um, these expert, adv uh, expert advisors you create in minutes. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that in this video, uh, versus hours, days, or even weeks um, to do it. So you're not, as I said, you're not spending your time on the code, you're spending your time on the strategy. And you can reacquaint yourself with strategies in seconds or even minutes. So by looking, because it's so visual, you just coming back to something you built two or three weeks ago, or four weeks ago, or two years ago, or whatever it is, you can quickly see how that strategy was put together and, um, and how it sort of fits together nicely. So that's my answer to taking control into your own hands. So if you use a time-crushing EA builder, you can then build those EAs and take that control as opposed to relying on other people or something that might be too difficult in terms of uh, M learning MQL. Secret number three is picking the right software. So if you're gonna use an EA builder, you obviously need to pick the right software that goes with it because if you don't, there are a couple of pitfalls and we're gonna walk you through those right now. So if you pick the right EA building software, you'll have a much higher chance of building profitable EAs. Why? Because you have to invest money into EA building software. And the second one is you have to also invest time. So the money side of things, uh, look, there are some free EA builders, or the, just a very few free EA builders out there, and they're free for a reason, they're not very good. Uh, so you do have to invest money if you want a good EA builder, which gives you that rich visual um, interface that you can uh, quickly and easily churn out expert advisors. The second one is, 
you have to invest time as well. So even if you do get a paid one or a free one, whatever it is, you're going to have to invest a significant amount of time to understand all the ins and outs of how it works because these things are fairly complex to look, to use when you first start learning them. So there is an investment time. So there are two massive impacts there. And look, there are a number of EA builders out there on the markets. Um, I've reviewed pretty much every single EA builder out there and there was only one that stood head and shoulders above the pack. And I'm gonna share that one with you guys today because this is the EA builder that I recommend to everyone out there um, just for the following reasons. And that EA builder is FX Dreamer. So here are the reasons that I rate FX Dreamer. Uh, and you'll see it in a use in a couple of seconds. So they've got an active support team. They've got regular updates. It's affordable, which is much more, which is one of the most important things. It's easy to use and it is feature rich. So FX Dreamer is the software that I would recommend that you pick when you're looking for an expert advisor. And I'm going to show you how you can build an EA in less than four minutes with FX Dreamer on a strategy which actually was profitable over about six months when I ended up testing it month on month. It was profitable for, for over six months on 99.9% modeling quality. And I didn't even, um, I didn't even uh, really think about the strategy. I came up with it in about two minutes. So, so this is a, this is one of those uh, lucky moments or, or maybe, maybe I shouldn't be thinking too hard about my strategies, but I'm going to walk you through how I built that using FX Dreamer. You can see there the interface in front of you. And I'm going to also talk you through how um, I'll show you the test results and show you how you validate that the strategy works correctly. So for those that haven't used x Advisors before, this is a, a nice little demo as to how they all work and, and what it's all about. So let me hit play here and I'm once again going to talk over this, uh, this video. Right, everyone. So I'm going to show you how quickly you can build an expert advisor using the FX Dreamer interface. So first up, I'm going to do a moving average crossover type of system. So I'll walk you through how it's going to build, be built as I'm building it. So to start off with, we're going to throw in some filters. And the first ones are an if trade and a no trade. So we're going to look at two scenarios here. If there's no trade running and if there's a trade running. So I'm going to also add in another filter, and this one is going to let us focus on something that is happening once per bar or once per candle. So when there's no trade running, once per bar or candle, we're going to look at this condition. And this condition is going to be that price has to be under the 200 moving average. In actual fact, I get this wrong in the video, and I correct it, so watch out here. So I get it wrong and no, it needs to be, price needs to be, the candle high needs to be below the 200 moving average. So let's change that and click update. So that's our first condition. So the candle needs to be below the 200 moving average and our buy condition here is gonna be that the simple moving average for the five period crosses above the 20 period moving average. So that's, our first signal for a buy trade. So let's put that in there. So we're going to buy immediately when that happens. And we're going to use a standard properties, which is 100 pips stop loss, 100 pip take profit. And we're going to do the same for the sell trade. So we're just going to copy that condition here across because it's going to be the same condition, but it's going to be above the 200 moving average. So we're going to just change that to if it crosses below and click update, and we're gonna add the sell trade in here and connect that up, and that'll have the same properties as the buy trade. So that's going to exit at 100 pips take profit or 100 pips stop loss, but what if we wanna exit at the 200, sorry, the 20 moving average crossing over the 200 moving average? So we're gonna put that in now. If we just grab another condition block here and connect that in, and we're gonna say, for exiting a buy trade, if the 20 SMA crosses above the 200 SMA, we will exit our buy trade. So let's grab the close trades block here and connect that up. And we're going to just exit buy trades. So click that. OK. So we're going to do the same for sell trades. So we're just going to copy this across and 
connect that up and update the details for sell trade. So we're going to cross below for that. And then we're going to make sure that we close the sell trades. Okay. So that's it. So let's save this. And that took, that took me about three minutes to do three minutes, 14, the video is run for. So, uh, we're going to save that now and run it through the tester. So we can save it as FX Dreamer Demo Version 1.1, save. And let's jump into my MetaTrader 4 platform now. And I'm going to quickly run a test to show you how it works. And this platform has been configured for 99.9% .9 modeling quality, as you'll see at the end of the video. So here it goes. It's loaded in. FX Dreamer Demo Version 1.1. We're going to find it from the list there. We're going to run a test on the Great British Pound, New Zealand Dollar, five-minute chart for a month in 2014. Let's see how it goes. So click Start, and let's have a look at the visualization at the top. You can see it's entering a trade. It's exiting a trade. It's entering another trade, and it's exiting another trade. So it's working. Let's have a look at the chart. Down the bottom, it's not looking too healthy, um, but it picks up again. Here it goes. Let's just, just run this for a little bit. And ironically, the strategy isn't too bad. Even though it took me only a couple of minutes to come up with. So we'll stop this here and have a look and see if we're actually meeting the rules that we've put into the EA. So let's have a look at that buy trade there. So the five period moving average crosses above the 20 period moving average. You can see there the crossover happens right there, enters a buy trade, and we're going to exit the buy trade when the 20 period moving average crosses over the 200 period moving average, and there it goes, and we exit the buy trade there. So you can see the exits of the trades there, and let's have a look at the sell trade. So the sell trade is the same, so it crosses below the 20 moving average, and we enter the trade, and then the 20 moving average crosses over the 200 moving average and we exit the sale trade there so you can see there it matches our strategy which is great and this is how fx streamer works and how quickly you can build eas that do generate some profit um this one i as i said i came up with in about two minutes so it hasn't been well thought through but when i actually went through six months of testing this it, it actually was profitable across the course of six months which I was um quite surprised about so it gives you, just to give you an idea of how complex these projects can be, I'm going to give you an idea. I'm going to show you how the candy shop, what the candy shop EA looks like in FX Dreamer. Uh, and this is the EA you'll be picking up at the end of the webinar. So this is only a portion of it. And you can actually zoom out and make it look like a, look a lot easier to read. Um, but these, this is a very complex one that I've built for you guys and I'm giving away to you at the end of this webinar. So that's it from the video. And let's end that here and move on with the presentation. So, oh, gone a bit too far there. So let's have a look here. So this is the Candy Shop EA, as I mentioned, um, zoomed out. And uh, this is what you're going to be picking up at the end of the show. And this is it built in the FX Dreamer interface. And this is only about 20% of the code that's um, sitting in there. As you can see, it's quite an extensive expert advisor. And so what, what happens if you follow this strategy? Well, uh, by following the strategy I've outlined today, you'll be able to create an EA like this um, in just a few hours. And this is one I did for, for another trader out there. Um, the opportunities are literally endless. It depends on uh, how many strategies you can pump in and how much time you want to put towards it. Uh, but you can definitely find profitable strategies here using as profitable, profitable MetaTrader for expert advisors using these um, these secrets, the three secrets I've given you today, which are let the strategies come to you, take matters into your own hand, hands, pick the right trading software, sorry, pick the right software, which is the EA Builder. So those three secrets that I've given you today will allow you to create profitable expert advisors in the future. Now, I want to talk through, talk you through one more thing here. So what, what can you expect if you didn't um, well, I suppose, what can you expect when you're going through this process? So if we just quickly look at a few things of, um, in terms of how you can test these strategies and, and what, 
what it looks like from a time perspective. So at the bottom there, we've got on this chart um, number of strategies tested, and I've got numbers one to seventeen. And on the on the side of the chart, I've got strategy testing speed. So if we were to manually uh, test strategies, I expect it to look a bit like this. So you're actually going back into your trade station, your better trader four, and you're going through, clicking through um, the time to have a look at when your entry signals are met for each strategy. And this is a lengthy process, especially if you're looking at lower time frames and doing it over many years. So manually testing a strategy, you are going to get better at it over time. So the more strategies you test, the the quicker you're going to get, but it's still going to take you weeks. I mean, it could even take months. If we use MQL, and so we're going to learn how to code MQL, it's going to get better than um, manually testing because you're going to be able to use the power, power of EAs to test strategies. But you're still going to need to learn MQL code, which is going to take you some time. And you can see there that um, at the start, it's going to take you quite, and I think this is probably quite an aggressive curve for the non-technical of us who probably end up spending, you know, months if not years trying to master MQL um, but you can see there over time you will go from um, as you become more familiar with MQL you'll go from weeks potentially to days and look it could even take you weeks at the end as we've seen with some of those developers out there now if we bring in an EA builder now how much of an advantage does an EA builder bring to these curves what does that look like so an EA builder it's not as smooth as you would think it, it does mean you don't need to deal with code, but there is still a learning curve. And this learning curve, as you can see there, why is it a squiggly line? Well, what ha what tends to happen is, like over the first few strategies, you'll build EAs a certain way, and such as the way I just showed you, um, where they do work, but you'll find that that's not the best way to do it. And over time, you'll find better ways to do things. And as you find those better ways, the time it takes to test strategies and to build these EAs will drop significantly. So you can see those big drops. So you go along for a period of time, you learn something else, it drops significantly, and then you learn some, another thing after a while, and it drops again. And eventually, you get down to the point after a fairly long period of time, and I've been through this whole process where it, you know, it will only take you minutes, as you saw in the video, or even hours to build a strategy. Now, I want to ask you this, what if what if you had a course that taught you all the secrets of using an EA builder and actually guaranteed you that by the end of the course, you'd be creating fully automated expert advisors of your own that you'd be testing and optimizing on 99.9% .9 accurate historical data. Now, what would this line look like? So I had a, a think about this and, and how could, could we bring this EA builder line um, much more sharp much sharper so that it so that that learning curve is much quicker and you can go from like within three or four strategies you can start building expert advisors and testing them on 99.9 .9 percent quality back data in just a matter of hours even minutes and so you that you know the first strategy is going to take you you know a significant amount of learning time it'll take you maybe a few weeks maybe two or three weeks but once you've learned those tricks and um you've learned the ins and outs of an ea builder and what you should have been doing from the start it's going to save you an immense amount of time um, going forward so i have a proposal for you today uh, as a as a uh, Listener of this webinar, I have a proposal for you. I am looking for founding members to help shape a course that will walk you through every aspect of using FXStreamer to build, test, and optimize awesome EAs. And as a founding member, you're going to get special benefits. And I'm going to go through those benefits in just a second. So I want to, I'm looking for founding members that will help shape a course that will walk you through using FXStreamer to build, test, and optimize awesome EAs. So if you are a complete technophobe, this course will be for you, and you would want to get in as a founding member because you could help shape that course. Or if you have specific things you want to find out, if you want to make sure that there's no stumbling blocks along, along the way for you, you can come in as a founding member. And I'm going to let you know what special benefits I have for founding members. So keep watching. Uh, as a founding member, you will get a complete EA Builder course for FX Dreamer, which will include video tutorials, cheat sheets to make it make the learning real quick, um, testing and troubleshooting secrets. So not all building EAs is smooth sailing like the video I showed you. There is 
Uh, you're going to have to troubleshoot. You're going to have to test, and you're going to want to know the best ways to do that, uh, especially for getting profitable strategies. Working with custom indicators. So how can you use custom indicators in these uh, EAs that you're building? Strategy optimization secrets as well. So that's what you're going to learn from an EA Builder course. And I think this, if you look at how much this could be valued at, well, a typical EA costs between $97 and $997. Usually they don't work. I mean, I've tested hundreds of commercial EAs, and usually most of them don't work, if not all of them. None of them worked, the ones that I tested that were commercial. Um, they can't be modified or optimized easily, if at all, so you cannot really work with these on a um, uh, on an optimization point of view. And they aren't tested, most of them aren't tested on 99.9% .9 back data, so whether or not these, or if the data is long, a long enough period of time, so it's just a gamble. Um, they're limited to a few symbols or in instruments, so you can't see if that strategy works on another symbol uh, for another currency pair, or another uh, index, whatever it is, and you only get one EA. So I think the value of an EA builder course, so be able to build multiple EAs at your fingertips has got to be between $997 and $1,997. So you're also going to receive, on top of the course, you're going to receive a dedicated MT4 testing platform. So that means your MT4 on your own PC will be able to generate the following. So you're going to get the complete setup guide. Um, you're going to get free software downloads. You're going to get free historical data on any symbol time frame or, or period. And it's going to give you 99.9% .9 back testing results every time. So no more of this 90% stuff. This is going to be 99.9% .9 quality data coming to you. Um, and I'm going to set, make sure you guys can set yourself up with your own dedicated MT4 testing platform. And this is so important uh, as part of using an EA builder. If you don't have a good testing platform, it is almost pointless having an EA builder and using an EA builder. So uh, the dedicated testing platform, what value can we put on this? Well, uh, I would, I mean, I, I've, I've spent more than $300 on retail historical data packages. So you can save at least $300 there. You can save $35 on the standard software. So I can get the software for you for free. Um, you can, there'll be a step-by-step -step instructional videos. So what's the value on that? The time it will take for you to discover this method and try other methods to try and get 99.9% .9 back data. So I'm going to put a value of this on this of $600 to $850. So as a founding member, you are going to get a complete EA Builder course valued at $1997, dedicated MT4 testing platform valued at $800, and you're also going to receive 10 time-saving pre-built FX Dreamer EA templates. So you can then import them directly into your own FX Dreamer account. They're going to include essential components. Here's just some examples. You can help shape this, as I mentioned. So adjustable inputs, uh, buy or sell market or penny orders, money management. That's just some examples, it could be whatever you want. Um, we can, I'll build those for you. You can import them into your own FX Dreamer account and use them at the at uh, from the very start. So what's the value of this? Well, this is gonna save you time constructing your age. It's gonna validate your learning and it's gonna fast track your learning. So I'm gonna put a value of two to $300 based on how much time it's gonna save. So you're gonna get that EA Builder course, you're going to get the dedicated MT4 testing platform, you're going to get 10FX Dreamer templates, it doesn't end there, you're also going to get 10 proven trading strategies. So I have uh, acquired 10 pre proven trading strategies, 7 strategies from reputable traders, uh, sorry, from a reputable trader um, that I know, uh, one strategy that placed first at a trading championship. So this strategy place first, and then two strategies that placed among the top five at a trading competition for eight consecutive years. I mean, eight consecutive years is a huge amount of time to place in the top five of a trading competition. So you're going to get that, and let's have a look at working out how much this could be valued at. So being conservative, I mean, look, each, each strategy could cost at least $100, and I think that's being very conservative. Um, but many hours have gone into creating these strategies, and some are competition winners. So the actual value is probably much higher, but I'm just going to put a value on it of $1,000. So you're going to get that complete EA Builder course. You're going to get that dedicated MT4 testing platform, 10FX Streamer, templates, 10 proven strategies, and I'm also going to give you uh, a free, well, I'm not going to give you, you're going to get a free FX Dreamer account 
with limited functions and this is available to anyone now so you can go and create those now and have a play and see if it's for you um, but you're also going to get a three month subscription to FX Dreamer as part of a founding membership uh, the actual cost for a three month subscription is $33 but if you were to buy three one-month subscriptions at $19, which is the cost, um, it's going to cost you $57 over the course of three months. So the value for this is $57. So you're going to get that complete EA Builder course, dedicated MT4 testing platform, 10 FX Dreamer templates, 10 proven strategies, three months of F FX Dreamer subscription. And there's one more thing. Well, there's actually two. You're going to get access to the community. Uh, we can sell, swap EAs that you build. You can share or swap strategies. You can partner up and build EAs collaboratively. So the value of this, selling EAs can be a lucrative business, so you could make some money from there. Um, swapping EAs saves you time buying commercial EAs or building them yourself. Sharing strategies helps with your learning. Uh, collaborating can speed up and improve your EAs. So I'm going to put a value in that of $1,000. So let's go over this. You're going to get that complete EA Builder course valued at $1,997. You're going to get the dedicated MT4 testing platform valued at $800. You're going to get 10 F Extrema templates valued at $300. You're going to get 10 proven trading strategy strategies valued at $1,000. You're going to get three months free F Extrema access valued at $57. You're going to get access to the community valued at $1,000. So that's a total value of $5,154. Now, as a founding member, you won't invest $5,154. I think it's affordable at $497, but you won't invest $497. I have a special one-time only ever offer for founding members, so foundation members. After this, the price will never be lower than $497. So this is a special offer, one time only ever as a founding member, because as you can see here, some of these things have not been built yet. So the course has not been built. The dedicated MT4 testing platform, the course for that has not been built. The 10F Extrema templates have not been built. I will build those for you in 45 days. So I, I've got a 45 day guarantee on this. So in 45 days, you will get access to this and you'll be able to help shape some of this information. So if there are things that are missing or things that you want to see in there, you can help shape what these templates are how the course is structured and those sorts of things. But today you'll walk away with 10 proven trading strategies. Uh, you'll also walk away with a three month free F Extrema subscription and you'll walk away with the community access. That's it, depending on how many founding members we have, the community will probably not be that big at the start and the value will grow over time. And I also have for you a special, special founding member bonus you are not only going to get the Candy Shop EA along with everyone else, but you're going to get that F Extrema template that I showed you and the settings that were used with that EA that were put on the uh, page where you registered. So the charts there, you will get those settings and only founding members will get those settings. If all this did was let you back test commercial EAs on 99.9% .9 accurate modeling quality over at least five years, would it be worth it? Is that something that you struggle with? And if all this did was let you discover profitable trading strategies, would it be worth it? And if all this did was give you the skills to automate strategies in a matter of hours, would it be worth it? What's one strategy worth to you? One profitable strategy. Is it 5K a month? Is it 10K a month? Is it more? How much would you pay to get one perfect strategy? So the founding members one time offer, and this is a one time investment for founding members, and it's not going to be $5,154. It's not going to be $497. As a founding member, you're going to get a one time offer of only $197 to get all of the above. Uh, plus, You'll also receive a full refund if I don't get at least five founding members by the 18th of December 2015. So if I don't get enough interest in building this course and moving forward with this, you'll get a full refund. So I'm looking for five founding members. And if the course isn't complete within 45 days, you'll also get a, a full refund. So it's up to me to make sure that that course is completed within 45 days. So your investment is just not $497 
as I said, the price will be $497 for anyone joining when the course is developed. Your price will be $197, so just an investment of $197. Um, now, I'm going to activate the button below so that you can get access to the founding membership. So just bear with me a second. You should be able to click that button in a couple of seconds if we just wait for this to tick over here and update. So that button should be active now. So click the button below to join this exclusive group. The offer expires on December uh, 18, 2015. So you've got a week to take this offer up. Um, just as a reminder, so you are going to, uh, if you join now today for just $197, um, you can join now if the links, the button's not working, you join now at 52traders.com forward slash EA course. If you have questions, if you want to send me questions about this, uh, please email me at cam at 52traders.com. And to get the free EA, the candy shop EA I talked about and promised at the start of the show, the link is on the screen here. Just type that into your browser and you'll have access to that candy shop EA. Um, so what are we going to get here? Just as a founding member recap, you're going to get a complete EA Builder course valued at $19.97. You're going to get a dedicated MT4 testing platform valued at $800. You're going to get 10 FX Dreamer templates valued at $300. You're going to get 10 proven trading strategies valued at $1,000. You're going to get three months free FX Streamer access valued at $57. And you're going to get access to the community valued at $1,000. So that it's a total value of $5,154. And as a founding member today, you can get it for a special price of $197. Uh, please, I'm going to just check that link's working now and give me a second to have a drink. And I'll be back here in a second to answer your questions. Just if you have questions, leave them in the chat window at the bottom of the screen.